games like European War Med Medieval are not easy to progress if you don't upgrade your units, your gear, your generals. And that costs, of course, money, especially if you don't want to pay real money. In-game money, you know, it takes time to build it. So I would like to give you a couple of tips how to maximize your existing resources to get the best out of it. First of all, pay attention here. There is a once a month, the flash sales. It's in, on right now. It lasts for a couple, for 48 hours. A year discount on item. Okay, so therefore, only purchase in the shop on those two days. It's stupid to pay full price when you know every month will come the discount. Then, just uh, confusingly, the game has two shops. The first one is here, the shop. And here you buy stuff using in-game resources, so in-game silver. Um, you know, you can buy basically everything, from gears uh, to weapons to upgrade your general. But then you have the in-game shop. Now you see this red uh, tag because it's a uh, flash sales time. And I just use all my medals to buy because uh, the flash sales. And here you can buy a rotating military unit. Now it's the Knights Hospitaller, which is the Charlemagne unit. Gold, uh, War Drum, Giant, all the unit upgrade, Heraldry, Seer, Mithril, Mercenary and Drawing. So, first of all, this is the place where to really go for Mercenary Order. It's 50% off, so you can really load up and upgrade your military units faster. The other item I go for is the Mithril. This is done, used for uh, upgrading your general special weapon. So if you have a Robin Hood, for example, is a wind feather, you can upgrade it. And it costs a lot to get the Mithril. Now, uh, it's possible though, so you, you said there are two shops. I can buy also Mithril here. Every day I, will get, I can buy one. I just bought it, so now it doesn't show, of course. Or like a Herald. Uh, let's understand then what is a better strategy to buy daily the Mithril from this shop or to buy monthly from this shop when it comes with a 20% off. Okay, so here is a simple math. Let's assume now for simplicity, let's assume at full price. I can buy here for 550 medals 10 Mithril or 55 medals for one meter, right? If I divide it by 10. If I go to the store, I can buy in the shop here one meter for 15,000 coins. It doesn't show you, as I said, I just bought it, but that's the price. So then I can say that I can go back to the shop. Instead of buying the meter, I can buy the gold. At full price, it will cost me 455 medals to buy gold. So then, if I buy uh, 450 medals, I get 100 coins, which is the equivalent of 6.7 mithril, because if one mithril costs 15,000, with 100,000 coins, I can buy 6 and almost in a fraction of 0 0.7 for the seven one, which means then that one mithril will cost 67 metals. See, so if you buy the mithril here, here, you pay 55 metals per unit. If you buy using the shop using coins, and therefore you buy use the metal to buy coins, it will cost you 67. So that's 12 mit that's 12 metals more. Hence, this shows there is a small arbitrage opportunity in the game. Use uh, the metals to buy directly here, not through the to buy coins because the coins has a much worse return on investment to buy items later on here. Okay, that's very simple tips for you. And the other, of course, if you're willing to spend some money, the first time you buy medals, you get them you get them twice, so basically a fifty percent lower price. That's a good investment for one. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe.